Hello and welcome to DTW Test Prep. Welcome. So we have a sat math question here, and this is on radicals. Okay, so what do we do here? All right, uh, let's quickly read the question. It says, if we have this 2 square root x plus 2 equal to 3 square root 2, if x is greater than 0 in the equation above, what is the value of x? So we're looking for the value of x. Okay, so here, as I said, when you have questions on radicals, you know, the first thing you, you are looking at is you have equations on radicals, just looking for a way to kick out, knock out the square roots. And to do that is to square, just square, all right? Even if there's just one square root here and there's none, once you square, square, you know, whatever you do to one part of the equation, you have to do to the other side. So just square to remove, kick out this particular square root. Okay, so we have to square both sides in this equation. So we have two square roots x plus 2 equal to 3 square root 2. So we square both sides. All right, so this would be 2 square, then multiply by this all squared equal to 3 square multiplied by square root 2 squared. Remember, 2 square is what 4. When you're squaring a square root, this would uh, knock off, okay, cancel out, and your final answer would just be x plus 2. So this will be multiplied by what? X plus 2. This is um, 3 squared is 9. The same thing happens here. The square of square root 2, you knock off the square root and you're left with what? Just 2. So this would multiply this, you know, opening up the parentheses. So this will be 4 times this. That's 4x and 4 times 2. I hope you remember distributive property. All right. And 4 times 2 is what? 8 equal to 2 times uh, eight, um, 2, and 9 times 2, I mean, is what, 18. So here we're looking for x, so let's take 8 to the other side of the equation. So we have 4x equal to 18. Taking this positive to this side gives us what, negatives, like subtracting 8 from both sides, okay? So this gives us 4x is equal to 18 minus 8 is 10. All right, so to get, to get uh, x, we divide both sides by 4. And what would that give us? That would give us what? 10 divided by 4 would give us a 2.5, and our answer is what? C. All right, do you see how easy and straightforward this is? Okay, so thank you. So this confirms is that x is what? Greater than 0. So thank you so much for um, staying to the end of this video. All right, and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends, family, and loved ones preparing for the SATMAT exam. And also, you can join our Facebook group. Okay, the link is in the video description box of this video. Drop any math problems and get solutions on the group. Interested in online tutoring, please do contact, uh, contact us. Just send us an email, and you can check our websites for other details. Okay, so thank you so much uh, for staying to the end of this video. Don't forget, finally, that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ, for he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead you to heaven at last and give you right here on earth peace, joy, love, soundness of mind. Everything good is in Christ Jesus. Come to him today. Make him your Lord and personal Savior. And he will heal you, heal every hurt, every childhood trauma, and, you know, spread in your heart, your spirit, his love that will conquer all. It's in Jesus. Come to him today. And he's going to give you that love. You can't get that love from any man or woman. It is Jesus that will make you whole. And, you know, spread. Spread that love in your heart that you'll be able to love someone else wholly. Come to him today and he's going to give you that. All right. So thank you from DTW Tutorials. Thank you. Make him your Lord and personal savior today. Okay. You are destined to win in your forthcoming SAT math exams and your SAT exams overall and also in life. See you in our next video.